As most of you know, I was a pretty good wrestler in high school, and not to toot my own horn, but get ready for some fucking toots. Now, despite being made fun of for the skin-tight spandex that we wore, I wrestled my sophomore, junior, and senior year in high school. I qualified for the D1 state championships twice and placed fifth in the state of Ohio, aka the second most competitive wrestling state in America. I was a corn-fed Ohio boy, and I wore that spandex with pride. Part of the reason I was good was because I had a power move, and it was called the lateral drop. Let me tell you. I would launch fools with the lat drop. If my opponent leaned a little too far forward, BAM! I would pick them up, toss them like a rag doll, and they'd end up straight on their back. Pinned, hand raised, champion. Yeah, there was nothing like throwing sweaty men six feet in the air over my head and flattening them like a pancake. It always worked. Always. Also, quick side note, I'm well aware that it looks like these cartoons are, like, making love, but eh, that's wrestling for you. Anyways, it was my senior year, and I was in the championships of the sectional. And at this point in the season, I was undefeated. I had never lost before. I was 35-0, and 0, the beast from the east. Uh, I was feeling pretty good about my wrestling skills, right? And then I look at the bracket, and, oh, uh, no. I was paired up against the invincible, the indestructible, the three-time state champion, Dominic Abunader. Oh no! This kid hasn't lost a match his whole life. Listen to his name! Dominic fucking Abunator! He's basically the Terminator! So I forfeited the match. Yeah, that's right. I tweaked my leg a little bit and I figured, why would I wrestle this kid now and potentially expose my secret lateral drop for no reason when I'm probably going to have to wrestle him in the state championship when it really mattered? And sure enough, all the wrestlers on his team talk shit about me forfeiting, but I didn't give up. It was a strategic forfeit, okay? My leg hurt a little bit and you guys don't understand. This kid is basically a machine. He's the best wrestler in the state. He had like boundless tufts of thick, dark chest hair and his last name is Abunator. Fast forward a little bit, I'm in the district championships, and I, again, I had technically already qualified for the next step, which was states, so I was cruising. So I go to look at my bracket, see my opponent, and goddamn son of a bitch, it's Dominic motherfucking Abunator! Fuck! I can't forfeit twice, no way, I'd lose all my street cred. So I'm on the side of the mat, hoping for a miracle, waiting to get my ass kicked, and my teammates come up to me, hey, Logan. Something. Uh, yeah? What's up? We looked in Dominic's wrestling bag. Logan, we found oil. What? Oil. Yo, what are you saying? He's a fucking machine, Logan! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate your help. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, match starts, the whistle blows, and I lock up with this monster, and he was my worst nightmare come true. Strong, fast, agile, chest hair tufts. I had no chance. Or so he thought. It's the end of the second period, and uh, the guy's beating me 7-2, to which I was actually proud of, considering he usually flattened everyone in the first period. Even though it's clear I'm losing, the crowd is on their toes, because they know that I could catch the Terminator in my career-ending lat drop at any second. And sure enough... The third period starts, and Terminator leans a little too far forward. This was it. Make or break my one chance to win the match by pin and upset the three-time state champion. I was about to make history. I lock in my underhook. I lean back. I close my eyes and throw my hips. Oh. My. Abunator is four feet in the air above my head. It's happening! The crowd stands up! My teammates are cheering! Boom! Abunator lands on his back. I grip tighter than I've ever gripped before. It's the moment of truth, and bam! He slips out and escapes. <laughs> Fuck, dude. My life is over, and now he's mad and threatened. So he grabs me, he throws me down. I regret every life decision I've ever made. He maneuvers my body into a position I didn't think was possible. And as I'm on my back, as I'm in the most vulnerable position of my life, having almost just pulled off a miracle but failed, the local newspaper snaps this picture. The most embarrassing moment of my life caught on camera and slapped on the front page of the local fucking gazette. <sighs> 
And what's worse, <laughs> four years later as I'm writing this story, I Google the picture and, you know, Dominic Abonator's Twitter pops up. So first off, as you can see by his profile picture, the dude is still a machine and he's wrestling in college now. But at the beginning of the year, um, he, he tweeted, hey, that Logan Paul kid you guys all hate now. Here's me putting the hands on him in high school at Logan Paul with the picture underneath. What a legend. I'm not gonna lie. I will never live that down though, but I bet I could beat his ass now, especially in a boxing match. <laughs> Suck my ass, Abunator. Like and subscribe. Peace.